Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. We're in a little different location. I thought I would get some tree involved, some presents, and I didn't really feel like lighting the fire tonight. All right, my camera's upside down, I think, so I got everything going backwards. Uh, there's Mr. Alex, Wellington just finished. Alex will take over. Uh, but I wanted to show you some items. Let me scooch over a little bit, center. Some items I got at the Dollar Tree. All right, first and foremost, these boxes. I love these boxes. I have no idea how big they are, but they're a nice size to store Christmas cards in or small little ornaments, things of that nature. And I love the detail on the inside of the boxes. Um, I'm not sure these may start holding. I have to get my Christmas cards down and see what I need to do in there. But this was the first one I got. And they did have the red truck, but I didn't need that. And then I got the penguins. Are they not adorable? And then here's the bottom. And on the inside, sorry, I'm getting a glare from the light. More penguins. I love these boxes. Like I said, I store Christmas, like stationery. Here, we'll do a thumbnail. stationery, pens, markers, pencils. So they're great for gifting, but they're also good or if you have some fragile ornaments. And I may put some of my glass ornaments, like I have some flat ones or ceramic ornaments in these boxes. Um, it just keeps everything tidy and organized. Um, I found one of these and I know there's a name for it. I just don't know what it is, but I liked it. Now my store had them in white and like a matte black. And then I went to another store and they had them in shiny black and like a pearl. So I'm thinking they come in four different colors, but I just got, because she brings me peace. I'll look up what it is and what she means, but I liked her. So I grabbed that just for some decor. Now I did get a fair amount of gift wrapping stuff, I think, to put away for next year because I'm afraid they won't have this good stuff. But for a stocking stuffer, I have a relative that really likes hot sauces. And I thought these were super interesting. They are Aztec Revenge brand. And I believe, I'm looking, uh, from Illinois. So I got jalapeno, um, garlic, and Montezuma. Montezuma's Vengeance. So I thought these would be a great stocking stuffer for this person and he will love them. So I grabbed three, the three flavors that my one store had. And like I said, those are perfect stocking stuffers, especially if you have somebody that loves hot sauce like I do. Now, can we look at this wine bag, which can also gift other things besides wine, but um, it's burlap guys. And this, this is like bag fabric or belting. This is good quality stuff. I use this to sew with. And then on the front, it says, how wishing you a very Merry Christmas. But I love this. It was so different. And I have never at the Dollar Tree, see, Dollar Tree seen something like this. And it will hold a full bottle of wine. So I grabbed that. And like I said, a lot of this stuff, I'm just going to put away probably for next year. Um, I grabbed some different, I have my phone up backwards, guys, different dis, uh, gift tags. These have the red truck. It says, believe in the magic of Christmas, joy. And this one says, merry and bright. And you get 20. So five of each of those. And I love that these are coming in the resealable. Like this one opens up from both sides and reseals. But probably what I will do is store a lot of my gift tags and little things in a box like that. And then this one also has the red truck and a snowflake. And look at this snow toboggan. We call them toboggans, but also a toboggan is a sled. So I don't know. We also called sleds toboggans. And the toboggan or hat and then the little trees. And again, you get 20. So I thought, sorry about that. I have a new Libra on. It's a blood glucose monitor. You can see it right here. 
And every time it can't get a signal, it shuts my phone off and it's really getting annoying. Um, so I had to turn off the alarm. I guess I need to go back to my pharmacy and get the sensor, the scanner thingy, so it leaves my phone alone because it's driving me nuts. But anyway, I don't know where I was, but I got 40 gift tags for next year, but I just like them and I was afraid they wouldn't have them. That's gonna be a reoccurring theme through this shopping experience. Um, I found a package for me of some sugar-free Russell Stover mints. Um, yeah, I just like to have these and I don't think my store's carrying them anymore. I just find like the random pack here and there, but that's fine. So I grabbed some, they're exciting. And then not sugar-free nor for me, it's for my little nephew. I have um, one of the candy jars that I got, the big ones, the plastic ones. I decorate it, I'm filling it full of candy and then he's getting some cash in there. So I needed some more candy. So I grabbed that because who doesn't like the Reese's? Plus he's getting a little older so I don't think he trick or treats anymore. So I gotta stock them up, you know? And then I grabbed two of these. These are moisturizing foot masks. Can you see that? Let's go this way. Foot masks. These are pretty good. Um, they are foot mask treatment, softens cracked heels and rough dry feet, moisturize, exfoliates, convenient, wearable. Now they also had one that I think makes your feet peel, but I didn't like, I didn't want that. So I just grabbed the moisturizing one or two of the moisturizing ones because in the winter time my feet get dry. However, I don't have it here, but I did buy the O'Keeffe's brand foot dry skin crack cream and hand cream. It was a kit and I think it came with some body cream and it's doing a really good job. But I love doing like little pamper myself nights and these uh, foot masks are pretty good. And I will tell you, I bought one the other day at Target. Now it, it was printed like an elf foot, so it was super cute, but they were $4. So if these work as good, that will be fantastic, right? Right. Um, I decided I needed one more polar bear planter. I showed you these in the last haul. I'm going to transplant. I ordered some soil, some succulent soil, but I'm waiting for it to come in. Um, but I have a succulent plant that needs to be split. So I'm sending one home with Sarah and I'm going to put it in the polar bear. And this is Pauline. Pauline the polar bear. And if you needed to know, plants are not included. Okay? Just wanted you to know that. Um, I also found Simply Soft Cotton Swabs. And I don't know what brand they are. I mean, maybe Simply Soft is the brand. I don't know if they're gonna be equivalent to a Q-tips, but we'll find out. If not, not a big deal. But I like to have these little, especially if I go to the gym or throw it in a travel bag, throw it in my makeup bag, you know, for makeup and stuff. And this came with 50 and I thought that was a decent deal and I wanted to show you. And I think, yeah, and then it, the, it, you peel off the label and then it opens and snaps shut. So I grabbed one of those just to have about the house, um, more so in like a travel bag situation. I know I'm not going until March to Canada, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I'm starting to buy things. Now, I went back to the same Dollar Tree and I couldn't help myself. I got the Santa and the reindeer because aren't these adorable? Look at that Santa right there reminds me of the claymation Santa from Rudolph. And that kind of reminds me of Rudolph with the red nose and everything. So now I have all four. Maybe I'll use them this year and maybe I'll put them away for next year. Who knows? But I definitely will use one or two of them this year. Um, specifically, I don't know. I have a party that I'm we're having at my pool house next weekend, I think. But I'm not 100% sure what's happening with that, so. All right, I don't even know how much time I've burned through here. This thing keeps stopping. Um, also stocking stuffers, Sour Patch Kids. And these flavors are 
sweet well they say sweet and sour oh soft chewy candy but i don't know what their flavors are um it doesn't say um so i don't know but i grabbed some of those and then for the same stocking some of these warhead tubes that are filled with like a soft candy they remind me of a stuffed um licorice the stuffed licorice and this is warheads and these are also red and green and these are mary cherry and jolly apple and these are name brands and i think they're fun candies and the person who's getting these is also getting the hot sauce so i think that'll be a fun just a little a little stocking nothing crazy i'm trying not to go overboard i know i'm trying guys i'm trying um, let's see what's in here. Oh, I did get some snowflakes. I'm going to make a sign for outdoors. I just need to honestly spray paint one more piece and then glue it together. So, maybe I'll do a DIY this week. I don't know, but I grabbed, you get a three-pack of these larger ones, and they're pretty decent size. And a six-pack of these smaller ones. Again, not, not terribly small, and I believe there's a bigger one you get one of. But I grabbed these because I like snowflakes that I'm feeling this year. If not, they'll go in next year's. Um, do I need this in my life? Not on a bet. Did I buy it because it said coffee or cozy and comfy with coffee cups? Yes, 100%. These are just the little tiny containers, which I think are adorable. Would be fantastic on a coffee bar hot chocolate bar to give little treats. I'm trying to find the opening because I saw an opening. Uh, to give, you know, if you have somebody that you're just giving a little bit of something to or sending home or wrapping a gift. But let me open it up and I'll show you. They're just tiny and they don't, they're not air sealed. I can tell you that. And the lid just kind of sits on it. You can put it on there, but oh, how adorable is that? And it just says, have a comfy, cozy Christmas. And I love it. So I grabbed a pack. You get two of these. And I would say that if I had to guess, this holds a cup and a half to two cups worth of something. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed <laughs> a cookie cooling rack and a pan not for cooking because i have plenty of this stuff but for a craft that i'm doing um i was sent and the video will be up soon a laser engraver and i need this to protect my table i've already burned through the mat once so there'll be a video coming up it is a sponsored video but i'm excited to share it with you um so i needed this to place my items on so i can cut through the wood basically with this this laser and that's just for protection. So nothing, nothing crazy there. Ooh, I did get a bottle of this green. So if you see this fingernail here, I'm not sure if it'll focus, but there's little crystals on it. And I had one on this hand and the crystals fell off. So I just used this green to like paint over the silver until I changed the set. And these are press on nails, but I'm gonna tell you, I bought the new color brand from the Dollar Tree, the Brush On Super Glue, and as these nails fall off, I've been gluing them back on, and it works fantastic. I had no idea. So I'm pretty excited about that, um, because sometimes these press ons don't last very long, or I find a set that I want, but it's not press on, and so the glue works fantastic. I thought it was great. So I grabbed that just for me to have because um, I wanted to fix my nail. Then I found some soaps. These are little tiny like hand soaps. Um, and it says Crystal Waters Winterberry Scented Hand and Body Soap. And they are like 2.8 ounces. It is a... Uh, enchanted accessories and I think I don't I don't think they're like organic 
but they smell really good. So I just grabbed two. I got a vanilla bean, vanilla bean and winter berry. But I thought these were fantastic, especially if you're gonna have company. You could put a bar of soap in the bathroom with some Christmassy stuff. And it's not a, a huge waste, you know? People can wash their hands, but however you feel about it, or put these in a little gift sash, 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 sachet, sachet, a little gift something or whatever. They had, I think, four or five different flavors, and I only saw them at two of my stores. But I thought these were perfect for little gifts or to put out if you're having company and that that purse in their bathroom or however you do it in your family. But I thought that was great. And it's definitely something that I will, I'll use around here. Now it is just, I'm putting things away. It is just me around here. So I don't have an issue using bar soap. Um, but I do know some folks like prefer not to use bar soap. So you do you, or give it to somebody who's a single person. Okay, two more bags. And pretty exciting stuff I found today. First of all, this cookie container. So when I have my party next weekend, I'm gonna bake some cookies and put them in here for people to have at my party. I say party, there's like six or seven of us gonna meet either for lunch or whatever. But I'm gonna put um, them in here so I can transport the cookies. And then to go with that, and they have this in blue and green. To go with that, I picked up some of these little cello bags with the polar bear. And they also have the um, zip ties or the twist ties. So I thought, well, people can take, I'll put tongs out and they can take some cookies home with them. Cause I feel like most times when you have folks or an event or whatever, nobody gets to the desserts. So I thought I will make a cookie tray and then everybody can take what they would like home and have it for their family or share it or eat it. But I thought that would be a fun idea. And I liked these and they just say Merry Christmas and they're just little polar bears. So I grabbed this to take to the party that I'm having. Um, also, I found, and I already opened it, some Werther sugar-free chocolate. So these are caramel chocolate flavor, little sugar-free Werther's, and I like these a lot. So I grabbed that pack for myself as well. I just like to have some candies around that I can have. Um, for the party, I grabbed Two of these mixes just to make some basic chocolate chip cookies. I think Betty Crocker does a fantastic job and I don't have all the ingredients here because I don't eat flour sugar, brown sugar, all that stuff. So instead of buying all the ingredients, I just buy the packages for right now. For this year, I also have gingerbread. I know upstairs and I have, oh, I got at Aldi some sugar cookies. So, I grab these. It's a little more expensive, yeah, like 20 cents, but it was convenience because I was at that store. Okay, two more exciting things I feel like. Yes. So in this store, in the bag aisle, I found this. And it is Camp Collection, not a Dollar Tree brand, so I don't know if everybody will have it. But it says shopcamp.com, let's make memories. It is a ombre tote bag. Now I got two, so I'm gonna give one to Sarah. Sarah's my niece. I always get asked that one I forget to say. I, if this is what I think it is, and it is, these are fantastic to take to the produce stand, to store produce in. Wet bathing suits, if you're going to the beach, these are great. And they hold a decent amount of stuff because they have a good stretch to them. And this is a pink and white ombre. So I'll keep one for me and I'll put it in with my bag collection. So when I go to the farm stand, I will have that bag. And then I will give this one to Sarah. Christmas, not Christmas, it doesn't matter. I'll just give it to her because she needs it when she goes to the grocery store. 
So I'll put that away. Now, last but not least, I was pretty stoked to find these. And again, I don't think I need them this year, but next year I might. So more wine bags. But let me tell you, these make great stockings as well because they pull here. So if you have family coming, they don't have a stocking at your house, but you want to do a little stocking, wine bags are great for that. And you can just hang them by their string and put a name on them. So they had them in the black, the large buffalo check, and then I would call that a gingham just because it's smaller. And then they had them in red. And again, I just bought one of each because I felt like these would be fantastic for gifts. Yes, if you're gifting wine, but you can put anything in them that you want. Maybe this should be my thumbnail. So I thought these were great and I love the fake fur up here in the red. Um, although if I'm going to call a spade a spade, that red doesn't match, but we don't care. We don't care. So I grabbed these again. I have depleted most of my gift wrapping stash over the years because I don't really haven't been buying stuff because I'm trying to use up what I have. So I thought this year I need to pick up just a few things. Um, just a few things to have for next year uh, because I, like I said, I love these and I grabbed a couple gift bags, but nothing major, but I love these and I was afraid that they wouldn't have them next year. Okay, everybody, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the new angle of my Christmas tree and the cat bowl that's sitting behind me. And I hope you have a fantastic week and I will talk with you later. Bye.